as you can see the router LED light started blinking it's working hello guys and welcome to the channel in this video I'm gonna show you one very cool thing that I just got recently this is a USB cable with a quick charge trigger and the ability to adjust the voltage so I'm gonna show you what you can use it for and how it can be applied but there's a lot of different applications that you can use it for and it is very helpful to have this kind of cable it's very cheap it's only like five dollars so let's get started and if you're new to the channel take a second to click the subscribe button if you like this video give it a like and without further ado let's get started so recently I got this 50,000 milliamp hour power bank from XO that's the brand name and I also have another power bank from Romos that's this big guy here and as you can see it's way bigger it's a 60,000 milliamp hour versus 50,000 right here so what you can use them for is not only charging your smartphone or tablet if you get in this USB cable with a quick charge trigger you can actually use it for a variety of different purposes and one thing we're going to be using it for today is actually running a router so did you know you can run a router from the power bank in case you don't have power going to the router you can use this power bank to run the router so let me show you how to do that so this power bank is capable of delivering voltages such as 5 volt, 9 volt and up to 12 volt. So if you have the quick charge trigger you can just plug it into the USB port. And it's gonna show you the current voltage that this power bank is outputting. And see right now it's putting out 10.6 volt. And if I press on this button here it will raise the voltage. Right now it's outputting 11.1 volt. And then it's outputting 11.4, 11.6, and it should go up all the way to 12. Once you go up to 12 volt and you keep pressing this button, it will start going down all the way to 5 volt, and then it will start going up. So let's go ahead and adjust it to 12 volt. So I'm just gonna make it to 12 volt. There you go. So right now, as you can see, it's outputting 12 volt. All right, so now we have 12 volt going out from this power bank. We can go ahead and plug in the router. As you can see, the router LED light started blinking. And voila, the router is working. So right now, all you need is just to plug in your internet cable and you'll be getting internet without having the power in your house. It is super convenient because this router isn't taking much power. But before you plug in this USB quick charge trigger, make sure to check out your original power supply for the router to make sure that you get in the proper voltage set up from this power bank if you're going to set the wrong voltage it might hurt your routers because some routers might be using 9 volt and not 12 volt so be cautious about it as you can see this is an original charger for this tp-link router and the output of this charger is 12 volt at 1 amp meaning it might consume up to 12 watt but it doesn't actually consume that much power. I have measured it with the watt meter and it's only been three watt that it needs to consume. This is only the specs of the charger itself. It can output one amp at 12 volt, but it doesn't mean that the router is actually consuming that much energy. It's actually consuming way less energy. Thinking about that this power bank is 185 watt hour, you can use it for like 36 hours or more, which is very good. Other than that, it's pretty perfect as you can see it's showing 12.2 12.1 volts putting out from this power bank and if we check out here it's even showing it's 100% charged and it's showing that the quick charge protocol is activated this is why we get in this router functioning and this is not the only application you can use it for basically you can use this power bank to power any portable device that's using anywhere from 5 to 12 volts and within 20 watt. Here we go. You might have seen this docking station before on my channel. If you want to check out a review about this docking station, I'm going to put a link in the upper right corner and one in the description as well. So check it out. It's a pretty nice docking station that you can use internal hard drives as external hard drives and it can handle up to 16 terabyte. I'm using only a 12 terabyte, but you can use internal SSD drives, internal HDD drives, 
as an external storage device and as you can see it's also powered by DC 12 volt so we're gonna try if the power bank can actually activate it and run it and just as a reference this is the original power supply that came with this docking station as you can see the output is 12 volt at 3 amps so 36 watt this is more that the power bank can output but I think it doesn't need 3 amp to run this docking station it's only the specs of this power supply so we're gonna see if it's gonna actually run all right so let's confirm we still get in 12 volt output and yet yeah, 12 volt and let's start it I can see it starts to run yep it's working by the way I'm gonna use my USB tester so let's go ahead and use a USB meter to see how much actual power is being delivered from this power bank and voila see it's showing 12 volt right now it's outputting and it's 12.1 here I've started this thing here you can hear it started the voltage is 12 volt and let's see how many amps it is so as you can see this docking station is consuming about 0.7 amp at 12 volt so you can run this docking station from the power bank and as you can see it's 100% charged so let's see 12 volt times 0.7 amp is giving us 8.4 watts so it's basically going to be using 8.4 watt each hour and because this power bank is 185 watt we're going to see how much it can work so 185 divided by 8.4 so it can run for 22 hours roughly from this power bank pretty good let's go ahead and check out the router and see how much router is consuming we will plug it in and see how much power it will be consuming so this power bank is supplying 12 volt at 0.25 amp and check it out the router is already fully working so it's consuming only 0.25 amp so let's calculate how much it will be so if we grab our phone and take a so 12 volt times 0.25 we're gonna get 3 watt yeah this is it it's only consuming 3 watt so if we go and divide 1.85 we divide by 3 we're going to be getting almost 62 hours of work from this 50,000 milliamp hour power bank. So this little guy is going to be irreplaceable companion. If you want to turn on the power bank that you've been using to charge your smartphones for universal power supply that you can use with any other device. Let's also check out this power bank, see how it will work with this quick charge trigger. There we go, it's also putting out 12 or 11.1 volt let's go ahead and connect the router as you can see it's also showing this little quick charge symbol this means that the quick charge protocol is enabled and like before this router is only consuming quarter amp or 0.25 amp at 12 volt not very much at all this power bank also have this feature that you can uh, by pressing this button you can toggle the display reading you can see that it shows the output voltage and output amperage the amperage is kind of like well as you can see it's kind of like going from 0, 01 0, 02 up to 0, 03 which is this one is more accurate this percent point 27 but because this is only one digit after the decimal it's actually not able to show but it should show at least 0, 02 which it does randomly but anyway the router is working, this power bank can charge it for a very very long time. So basically what you need to know about this quick charge trigger, you can power any devices that have this connector, but also if you want to charge some devices that have a different type of connector, you can get adapters that's going to go onto this plug and it will turn into a different size. This one is a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter. There is a variety of different ones, but you can get a set of adapters and just put one on top of this one and then you can power almost anything. By the way, here is the set of these adapters. As you can see, there is a variety of different sizes. 
there is very wide ones very skinny narrow ones and a little bit larger all different sizes yeah, as you can see it's a b c d e f g h j k so you get in uh, you get in 10 different things so these are the low voltage low power adapters usually used on devices that don't require much power and this guy here is 5.5 by 2.1 which is the most common plug for low power devices and it is used as the female on these adapters so for example i have this power adapter for an old laptop as you can see it requires 12 volt at 3 amp so basically i can do that but the plug here as you can see it's much narrower than this one if you compare them side by side as you can see it's a little bit narrow so what i can do i can find the proper plug for it as you can see just look to find the proper one i think it's this guy here so I just take it off then I plug it in like this and now I have the same plug for the laptop so I can use this power bank to charge my laptop because it's a very low power adapter it's only 12 volt and 3 amp which gives us the max of 36 watt but 22 watt would be enough for it most likely this is an old netbook more modern laptops that require more power so it may not be the case but if you have an older one that only requires 12 watt, you can use it. One more device you can use it for to power it is going to be the security camera. As you can see, this Tapo security camera that I have also got not long ago. And I have a full review on my channel if you want to check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description and leave a link in the upper right corner. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out. This guy here, on another hand, is using this power adapter which is only as you can see 9 volt and 06 amp the total of 5.4 watts so it's very very low power consumption but I'm pretty sure it will be even less than that because this is the maximum output of this power adapter and it's probably not going to be consuming that much so let's go ahead and set this USB quick charge trigger to 9 volt instead of 12 volt as you can see it shows 12 volt we're gonna press it and it starts going down until we reach 9 volt and there you go 9.3 that's enough and now we can go ahead and plug in the security camera as you can see the power start going to this security camera let's see how much power it's consuming as you can see it's consuming 0.2 amp at 9 volt so let's go ahead and calculate how much it's going to be if we go to a calculator we go 9.2 volt times 0.2 amp it's only consuming less than 2 watt of power each hour so if we have a 185 watt hour power bank for example divided by 2 we're getting 92 and a half hours of work from this power bank so yeah there you have it guys you can run almost anything from this power bank like a security camera or a docking station or a router basically anything you can think of you can run i think it's a way better choice than even purchasing an agm or gel battery if you don't really need to run any high power devices such as fridge or anything like that if you want to just power the small devices like this this is all you need you just need the power bank and this usb quick charge trigger with a set of adapters and there you go all devices up to 12 volt and 20 watt it will be able to supply power to them and they will be running no problem there you have it guys i hope you find this video helpful if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channels for more helpful interesting videos if you have questions comments suggestions drop them down in the comment section below let me know in the comment section below what other devices you think you can use this power bank to power on this is it for now i hope you have a nice day see you soon bye bye